Yo, what's good with y'all? It's the Slyke for creeping in with another video. How y'all feeling, man? Hope you're having a blessed summer so far. And so we had a surprise announcement from Wyatt last week. And I'm uh, kind of surprised that Wyatt had actually announced that, you know, Valorant, the popular PC uh, shooter, has actually been in the works for a console release for some time now. And they've actually uh, announced a console beta, which I was uh, super surprised about. And, you know, not gonna lie, I definitely had my doubts at first. You know, like, how are they gonna translate a game that focuses heavily on the precision and aim to the console controller experience? Um, so that was definitely one of my doubts, you know, coming into this. But, you know, they did launch the beta actually on Friday. And so I haven't actually played a few hours of the Valorant console beta. I definitely have a lot of positives to take away from it. So first off, I just want to make it known that, you know, I'm not a Valorant pro by any means. You know, I'm only like around level 4 here and I've, I've downloaded a bit on the PC side, but the loops and bounds that you have to go through just to get uh, good or casually good in Valorant is just like a, a big deal to me. Like, like you, have, you have to do a lot of mouse training just to compete on a casual level and it's just you know, I, I just basically gave up at that point. And so, uh, you know, having played the console beta, you know, I, I think that Wired has done such a good job of translating these abilities to the controller experience. On the default side, we have, this is on PlayStation, we have a circle, L1 and R1 for your main abilities, as well as L1 and R1 together, if you want to do your ultimate. And the, uh, the base, um, the default configuration is, is pretty good, you know, there's also other custom configurations you can do as well, which is uh, pretty handy. Now, when it comes to the aiming, Wyatt has definitely done a good job here when it comes to, you know, the different sensitivity options that you get. Uh, the default sensitivity is actually pretty good and it's actually really uh, well done when it, when it comes to the aim smoothing. And uh, yeah, you, you're gonna have a good time with the default sensitivity and they, they did uh, such a good job with that one. So the way I have it set up is uh, I actually have everything else set to default and I have the, uh, the horizontal sensitivity up to 8. And I think this is a pretty good uh, balance, uh, you know, with the aiming. And you can see me here on the training range, uh, you know, um, just uh, trying to get good here in the training range. but. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this uh, this gameplay So one thing I'll definitely say though, you know after playing a few rounds of the beta is that sniping is definitely a challenge You know on controller at first, you know, I, I got I got lucky a few times I was able to snipe, you know a few rounds, but you know for the most part, you know sniping is definitely a challenge on controller and you know, I don't know how they're gonna fix that maybe introduce aim assist but maybe aim assist isn't isn't the right move for that one so it's uh, definitely a tricky thing to balance on controller maybe you know having gyro controls might actually be a good thing as well like um, maybe they can add gyro to the ads you know that would be pretty cool to implement and we've actually seen you know gyro being implemented in other playstation games such as uh, horizon and uh, you know there was a few sections in Astrobot that that used the gyro controls. Um, you know uh, we have to wait for Xbox to release their gyro controller, so I guess that's uh, gonna be a hard thing to uh, to balance with the parity with that one. But you know hopefully uh, Microsoft comes out with a controller that does support gyro, and then we can have this feature uh, set up with the Valorant on console. All right, so I wanted to get into this next segment over here, and I wanted to talk about uh, how Valorant would stack up against other live service offerings. Uh, so, so far we have uh, Apex, Rainbow Six Siege, and the Finals. And the Finals was a recent, you know, shooter uh, that launched free to play, and uh, they actually tracked really well on launch. You know, it had 250,000 concurrent Steam numbers at launch. You know, I don't have the numbers for the console players, but I know, I'm assuming it's uh, pretty big as well. And, uh, you know, I think that, you know, Valorant's in a good spot here. There's no other, you know, game that's like this right now. You know, uh, I would say maybe Rainbow Six Siege being the tactical shooter, but, uh, you know, there's no CSGO 2 on console. So I think that Valorant has a really good shot here at uh, you know, making a pretty good splash on console. You know, given the fact that there's no other 
uh, experience like it. So I do feel that you know Valorant over time is going to be having a big uh, popularity on console. Now it, it is dependent on you know whether people are going to you know struggle through the uh, the early struggles of the game. Like you know uh, it is a competitive game after all, and it's it's up to them to have that competitive spirit. So you know it's definitely up to them if they want to continue on and uh, continue training and uh, trying to get good here. So. It's, uh, it's it is a dependent on the player skill as well. So I would say that's uh, that's also another thing. So time will tell, man. You know, I definitely have some high hopes for this one. But you know, let me know what y'all think about Valorant on console. So this is your boy, the Sly Crow. This is all I got here for today. Hope you guys enjoy the video and make sure y'all hit the like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.